Hello everyone, thanks for joining the webinar today. My name is Emily Bradley. I'm part of Medit's education and training team. And um, today we're going to be addressing the improved AI scan body matching tool and registering abutments tool. So before we get started, I wanna remind everyone as usual that this webinar is being recorded. You will receive this webinar to your email or the registered email uh, about 40 hours, 48 hours within um, going live. So even if you weren't able to tune in today, you will actually, as long as you register, you'll get this webinar sent. Um, and each one of our webinars, our educational webinars sent to you. Please keep in mind that we would love to hear from you. We'd like to know from our end users anything you would like to learn more about. So please respond to the email address that sent you the invite. And um, we would be happy to provide um, you with webinars based off of your needs. So to get started here, we're going to address the updated AI scan body matching tool. Now, what we're going to do first is cover the AI matching tool prior to the update. So I'm going to play you a little video here because I've already updated my software. Um, this video is going to show you um, the AI scan body matching features prior to the update, as I mentioned. When scanning multiple scan bodies with the AI matching feature, it was possible to match the library and the scan data only after selecting each tooth number. So I'm gonna play this little video here for you. And um, in a minute, you're going to see the differences between the old software and now the updated software. So we'll press play here. So here you're going to go ahead. Um, you'll see there that you can go ahead and select the tooth number. Um, what you're gonna do first though is scan the scan body at this point in time. And then once scanning that first scan body, we'll let this, um, we'll ca catch up with the video. We're then going to select the second scan body. And now we're going to select the second scan body to scan. Okay. So you can see that we scanned each scan body only after selecting the tooth number. And then from here, we're going to come into the scan body library, select the scan body that we're using. You're going to see with the updated features here in just a minute, um, the library is a lot user more user friendly as well. So we're going to go ahead and align this using the single point alignment. Okay. And then we'll align our second scan body now. Okay, here we're gonna use a three point alignment. All right, so by exiting at the bottom then, you can go ahead and view your two scan bodies together. Um, you can click on the selected tooth there at the bottom or the selected scan body and implant site there at the bottom. Okay, so as I mentioned that, um, this is kind of a review of the AI scan body matching tool prior to the update. So now what we're going to do is we're going to switch to our Medit software and we're actually going to go through the software um, scanning the soft tissue, scanning the scan body, and you're going to see the differences now in the update. And I think you're going to be pretty excited to be using those. Just watched what the software was like prior to the update. Now what I wanna do is um, show you what the updated software, the updated AI scan body matching software looks like. So what we're going to do here is select the tooth first. We're going to select an implant crown, screw retain, and zirconia. And let's now pick the shade. So we'll go with A4 here. Okay, so let's go ahead and select tooth number 19 now. Um, we're going to go with implant crown again, screw retained and zirconia, and let's pick a different shade. Let's go with A3.5. Okay, you can select these teeth together by pressing control as you select the teeth. Um, you'll end up with the same shade and you can just go back in and change the shade as need be. Okay, so once you've selected uh, basically your RX form here, you can go up to the upper right hand corner and press scan. Okay, so we're going to open Medit Scan for Clinics. And, you know, as always, when we do these webinars, I like to keep them as short as possible and just address the topic at hand. So right now I'm just going to scan basically um, a quadrant mandible. We're going to do um, a soft tissue scan. And so let's go ahead and get this quadrant. We're going to scan along the occlusal. And I started forward um, because of the tissue in the back. Um, let's rock back and forth a little bit here and pick up these interproximals. And um, well, let's pick up some, a little bit more of these interproximals. We're not too worried about getting a perfect scan here. Um, we want to um, kind of demonstrate, again, the AI scan body matching tool. We'll pick up the distal of that bicuspid there as well. So, all right. So a pretty quick scan right now. 
Okay, so if you go into the upper right hand corner, you can basically view your scan time, your speed. Um, we were at 50 frames per second. Um, you can obviously go up to 70 with the i700, which is really cool. So you can really increase your scan time there. Um, so as you guys know, as you're scanning scan bodies, um, doing implants, you want to scan that soft tissue so you can get that emergence profile. Um, our next step will be to move on to scanning the scan bodies. And here's where you're going to see those updates. Okay, so what I'm going to do is place these scan bodies and then together I'm going to scan both scan bodies. And this is where you see that update coming into play. I don't have to select each specific scan body site or implant site. I can go ahead and scan these scan bodies together. Whoop, got, got off track there just a little bit. We'll just go ahead and get back on top of those scan bodies, um, pick up the mesial and distal of that. Um, again, so let's go ahead and take a look at these, um, see what our scans look like here. Now, it's really important uh, as you're scanning the scan bodies that you notice the the uniqueness of each scan body and try to place those, the um, you know, the notches or whatever's unique about the scan body towards the buccal surface. So just so it's easier to scan rather than maybe on the uh, mesial or distal surface. Um, clicking on the STL file often gives you a little bit better view of um, the different features on the scan body. So we'll go ahead and select the scan body library here. You can see by just looking at this right now how much e easier it is to use and how much more kind of user friendly they've made it. So we're going to go down here and select the scan body library that I will be using. Um, we'll click here and then I'm going to go down to 58 or 008 and we're going to select hex. Okay, so if you look to the right, there's the scan body that popped up there. Okay, so we're using the same scan body for each tooth. So I can assign it. I'm going to assign it to number 18. And then I'm going to go ahead here and I'm going to assign it as well to number 19. Now, if you had different scan bodies for different tooth, you would select the different libraries and assign them. And then from there, you would confirm. So right now, because this is a new um, update, it just tells you um, kind of about the new feature. And you can click there, don't show again, or just confirm and let that notification pops up again. So you'll see that those scan bodies that we've selected um, are now on the screen with our um, intraoral scan. So we've got number 18 here that I'm going to align with a single point alignment. And you'll see that merge. All right, so let's go ahead and pull number 19 over here. And let's do a two point alignment um, on the scan body here. And we'll go ahead and click on the scan body um, from the scan, the intraoral scan. And you can see immediately how both of those scans, um, how they merge. You can tell by the coloration there, um, the, the closeness, the accuracy of that merging. And now with that update, again, how much easier it is. So when you have those scan bodies in the mouth, you can go ahead and just start scanning and then assign the scan bodies later. Okay, so there's, there's our scan file there. We've got number 19 and number 18 um, merged. Okay. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and move on to our next step here, our next updated feature. All right, a feature has been added to register an abutment as a library. Before updating to add an abutment library to Metalink, users had to receive a custom abutment from a lab or take it directly from a tabletop scanner and register it as a library. Or they had to create a case and scan the abutment, then export it as a mesh file. But with this new abutment registration feature, the clinic users can scan the abutment with an intraoral scanner and register it as a library much easier. Okay, so what we're going to do is play this video here um, of the abutment, um, how to register an abutment. And you're going to see there the icon right below our tools now. Um, it's a new icon that's been added. You're going to click on register abutments there. And then from there, you can go ahead and scan the abutment. And if you look at the screen in the lower right hand corner, you can see that someone's actually holding that abutment and it's being scanned with an intraoral scanner. So you can see that they're going to get a thorough scan of that abutment making this process much easier. So from here, we can inspect the scan.
So after we're satisfied with the scan, we can go ahead and trim away any unnecessary areas. Um, we're going to select the um, cutting tool, the trimming tool at the bottom of the screen, and go ahead and right click to delete that. And let's clean up the base of this just a little bit more. All right, so once you're satisfied um, with the abutment that you can scan, you can go ahead and click the arrow at the bottom of the screen, and it's going to take you to a place where you can actually inspect and view the abutment once more. It'll take just a minute um, with, um, to merge it right now. We'll just take you through the process. All right, so there's our abutment. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to move on to the next step. So um, our next step is going to give us the ability to actually rename or name this abutment whatever we'd like to at this point. Okay, confirm. And then you'll see here um, the abutment library. We'll confirm again, it was selected there. And then what's going to happen now is we're going to scan the abutment in the patient's mouth. Obviously, this is being scanned on a stone model. Um, if you, you know, I always like to kind of give pointers of scanning while we're doing the webinars. And um, if you've been scanning a lot, especially in the patient's mouth, you'll realize that it's a lot easier even than scanning on models. Now we want to get a really clean scan of this abutment right now. So let's go ahead and we're going to get the distal of that abutment. And we also have um, that the distal or contact area there. There we go. So once you've got a full complete scan, okay, you can see the real-time image there on the right-hand side. So there's our scan. You know, this is simulating the scan of the patient's mouth. We'll go ahead and click on the abutment library, select the tooth, select the abutment, and you can see there the, the name that we've named it. We're going to assign and confirm. So it's going to pull that abutment into the screen here with our scan of the patient's mouth. Okay, so let's go ahead and align this with the three-point alignment, selecting on the implant li or the abutment library and the abutment in the patient's mouth. And there you go, you can see where it's merged. Um, let's just go ahead and inspect this really quickly. You can see by the coloration there, the closeness of the merging. Okay, so you can see how simple that is. And then at that point, once you're satisfied um, with the, the abutment scan and the merging, you can go ahead and click complete at the top of the screen. Um, we're gonna just click to our next slide here before wrapping up. Using um, the library, you can get more accurate and comfortable data in areas that are difficult to scan, such as subgingival margins or areas that are too close to the adjacent teeth. So, you know, some of those areas um, that you're going to try to pick up some of those abutment scans are going to be subgingival. And by using the library and doing it this way, you're going to be able to pick up information, just like it said, in more difficult areas to scan. So. That being said, we'll go, on, we'll go ahead and wrap up the webinar today. Uh, as always, I'd like to thank everyone for joining in. Uh, we always want to hear from you. We want to learn what you would like to learn more about. Um, if you have any questions or comments, um, please just respond to the email that sent you uh, your registration form for the webinar. It'll go to our uh, education and marketing team, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Um, again, thanks for tuning in, and everyone have a great night. We'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.